everybody, my name is Becky and I welcome you to my muscle function video series. Today we'll be going over the extensor pollicis brevis muscle. I will go over its location which includes the origin, also known as the starting point, the insertion, which is also known as the ending point, followed by its function, and then finally providing you an exercise so you know how to strengthen this muscle the best. So let's start off with the location so we know exactly where we're talking about and then we'll build from there. So the extensor pollicis brevis muscle is originated on the posterior lower half of the radius bone and then inserts onto the proximal phalanx of your thumb and that is again on the dorsal side or on the back side of your hand. So kind of giving you a reference on my body as to where this muscle is. So this would be your radius bone on this side, on the thumb side. So again, like I said, it is on the lower mid or the lower half of the radius bone, which is the starting point, also known as the origin, and then runs up the hand and inserts onto the proximal or the closest phalanx of your thumb and that is on the back side of the hand. So it's right there, that very first knuckle right here. So now that you know where it is on my body, I'm gonna go ahead and provide you an illustration so you know exactly what I'm talking about so there's no confusion. So here's that illustration for you. Okay, so now that we know exactly where this muscle is on our bodies, through example on me and through the example in the illustration, now we can move on and apply its function. So this muscle has three different functions, however its main function is extension of the thumb. And that is at two different joints on the thumb, but it can do this simultaneously or separately. Either or, this is still its primary function. So we are looking at extension of the thumb. And we are looking at extension of the thumb through this joint, the closest joint to the hand, or down in here closer to the wrist. So if we were to have our thumb inwards like this, it would bring our thumb out. Also, if we had our hand, or excuse me, our thumb just tucked to the side of the hand, it would bring our thumb outwards. So again, just bring it out, or like so. So that would be its primary function, again, is extension of the thumb. It also does abduction of the wrist, kind of bringing that thumb up or moving the thumb closer to the body as well as weak extension of the wrist. Again, this movement would be the weak movement, which means it just helps it. It's not its primary function, and it only, again, only helps that movement. So knowing the primary and secondary and weaker functions of this muscle, now, now we'll be able to exercise and strengthen this muscle the best. So last week we discussed on the extensor pollicis longus muscle and you didn't if you didn't see that you can go back and check that but I'm going to go ahead and go over the exercise for you again right here so if you did see it great job stick with me for a minute or so and we'll get through it but just like the extensor pollicis longus muscle we are going to use uh, manual resistance, excuse me. So what you're going to do is fold the thumb down and you're just going to apply pressure with your hand and you're going to raise that thumb up in the air. And you'll notice um, that you will not need to apply a whole lot of pressure due to the fact that the muscle is a smaller muscle. Again, you will only need to apply manual resistance to this muscle due to the size of the muscle.
So I hope you guys have all learned something from this video. If you found value it, value in it or liked it, hit the like button. Pass it on with a share. If you stuck through it, uh, the exercise demonstration again for the second time, hit the like button. Let me know how you like it. If you have any questions, please comment below. Other than that, I will see you all next week. Have a great week, everybody. See you later.